the process at the time, so I'm working on that. Um, I couldn't find this device that I'm recording on now at the moment, so I recorded on my phone, and it won't let me upload to my YouTube channels and so forth, so these might sit a little while, I don't know exactly how I'm going to get them out, and you guys, if you don't understand, if you don't have your channels go through a process, you can't get 15, more than a 15 minute video out at a time, I think you have to get 4,000 4, watch hours, which several of my channels have, but I haven't gone through the process, that yada yada, let's just say I don't have a whole lot of options, so I do the best I can. That's why I'm not recording the screen, I'm not doing any of that stuff, because frankly, there's nothing really too interesting to look at, and I don't really particularly want people to know exactly what I have around me, where I am, that type of deal. Long story short, I have a lot to talk about. The last video I did was a 30 plus minute video on red fluid sack. <coughs> Uh, Rye, <laughs> Fye, so, so, BS is going to be the term for that, red fluid gimmick, about how all these TV shows have deaths and results out of them, and I covered that from many shows from Game of Thrones, Family Guy, Gotham Suits, Harry Potter, Dexter, Mr. Robot, I think the I hit them all there, so that was a pretty interesting little situation there. As for this video here, I have a lot of different topics, and I'm going to try to stay on topic with one thing at a time, um, but like I've always said, I have a lot of information, and I try to throw as much information into the video as possible, if you need to, you know, rewind it, whatever, you know, I, there's really a lot of excuses for why people don't watch or listen to things. If you see a black screen, like how mine usually are, that doesn't mean you don't listen to it, you just listen to it in the background. It's just like people who don't, like they get upset with, like if someone's doing a video game recording or something, and someone's recording the audio, turn the audio down. There's ways around things, people find ways to complain. So, I'm going to talk about a couple topics here. A bigger one and a smaller one on top of my head. It's the canceling out of each other. It's the whole the whole mindset is you have to understand that everything is controlled and whatnot. And there's two opposing sides basically with differing you know mindsets on a certain topic and you have people kind of in the middle that are kind of like, yeah, I agree with this part, but not that part. Oh, this is too far this way, this is too far that way. You have to realize the people, there's all of us in the middle that are getting confused by it in some shows. But mostly just people that are confused by it, which I, I just don't think that there's a ton of, there are quite a few shows and whatnot, and they usually are pretty obvious to tell. But I can tell that not everybody I've talked to in the show that I corrected online or whatever, and I get um, strikes on my videos from YouTube, I, if I'm in a live chat and I say something as simple as just disagreeing with the opinion, I get, sh I get put in timeout, it's called, and that's just embarrassing, first of all, you can't talk to me like a man or a woman, you have to whine and just go, I don't like that opinion, I'm shutting it down. I didn't say anything wrong with anything. And another thing is, I see where I will be subscribed to someone, and I'll have their notifications on, I'll be unsubscribed, I won't get notifications, I get my comments um, taken down. Every, almost every time I comment on a YouTube video, it'll say zero seconds ago, and I've always said that, that was a surefire way to know, like, I'm shadow banned, being watched, you know, controlled type deal, being controlled by that. So let me get into the whole point of this, the big, you know, worldwide type of agenda behind it, and why it's going on. The whole point is... We're going to get to a point where there's going to be people, which they've already talked about on news and whatnot, trying to get people desensitized to it so they're going to want to be okay with it when it happens. 
there's going to be people on different parts of the country that will go to certain places and they will be with their type of people. And that'll be like the whole country, whether they do it in half or they take, you know, this part is this way, this part is this way, we'll have a little bit here, we'll have a little bit this way. Don't, don't do it in a way, legally, don't do that. And the really weird, disgusting, perverse sickos will be in one place, and I'll be in the other place. And there'll be a lot of experiments done on both sides. But long story short, I'll save that and let, uh, I'll let uh, the new channels go to as an eye for an eye at the end of the beginning. Great new YouTube channels. Um, I can't really say too much without the algorithm being picked up. He talks about a lot of the content. And he makes, he's always made a lot of sense with a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah, right on. Dang near everything except who the scripted next president would be. So he just saw it in a different way, but then as soon as he came out, he said, Yeah, I was wrong. And this is why I see why they went in this direction instead of that direction. Which really it's 50 50 at best, and anyways, are going to say that he was obviously. Um. So the old channel was ACFAU, and I'm going to say the, first, the actual channel name, um, because I guarantee that's a good way to get uh, shadow banned and so forth, even though I know I already am and censored. Whatever phrase you want to use, I know we're both more or less. So there's that. I get consistent strikes on almost every video I do, even if it's not, it's kind of esoteric content. So you know that the algorithm looks for certain words, looks for, you know, they look for channels like that, they look for content like that, and they let all the other channels that believe in that their votes count, they push the, oh, I'm pro this person, I'm against this person, as long as you're part of the agenda, and you're arguing about something, and you're dividing most agendas in having people come together through knowledge and through faith and that kind of deal. If you can, if you're part of any of that, they shut that down real quick. That's even bigger than getting the information out is the amounts of people that can work together to try to wake each other up and say, okay, so here's all these symbols. Here's all this in order. This is what they said here and this is what they did here. This is how they did problem, reaction, solution. They said, this is the problem. They got people to react in a way of extreme. A we want this gone. We want more journey. of this. Whichever way, however, whatever they want. And then the, after that comes out, they watch that, and they come out with the solution. So the point is, they make the problem. They make the solution. We're the key piece in the middle. Where we are the, the reaction part where they monitor stuff we say and we put on on uh, social media and type you and they go, okay, there's there's a ton of people that disliked our war economic reform video about um, on nothing and of our puppets and digital currency and so forth. Um, if you disagree with any of that kind of thing, then you will likely be censored or whatnot. So like I said, the big part of it is the whole cancel culture 33, CC 33, for letters, of course, got to get that in there from a logical standpoint. Um, you get people where all they do is argue and bicker and fight and distract each other. And they get offended and just they waste all their time and energy on something instead of learning and teaching and you know, being a stronger, smarter type person. You fall into traps like, oh, I'm against your opinion. We don't like each other. We agree on this. We don't agree on this. We agree with part of this, but not all of it. That type of thing. There's so many different ways I can keep going. Any agenda, you're going to have that. You get your shells on TV talking about one way, and they always give you an answer. They give you the answer that they want you to, and you know, they plan it in your head. And that's why throughout history, they did the brain, they have studied the brain since at least the 40s. Um, they did it in wars and that kind of stuff, especially with the German you know, type deal. Part of their operations, they moved doctors around from Europe to the United States and took over the corporations. 
and follow up a lot of those two like you know, ideologies and the governments and all that kind of stuff. So that you see on TV, everything is negative. Everything you see is dead. Everything you see is sad. Everything you see is evil. It's all divisive. It's all um, perverse. It's all inverted. It's, you know, ban anything to do with God, anything to do with Jesus, ban that stuff. Uh, pro Satanism, um, pro any of that kind of stuff that's just breaking um, breaking on the Ten Commandments. Um, everyone's a victim except the people who actually are victims. Um, make everything a big deal so that people argue about it and they get it in your head where you accept. Well, first it's these people want these rights. And then it's these people want to get married to each other. And then it's these people want to be around their kids. And then there's these people want to make her around their kids. And then there's then it's the agenda. These people, these people want your kids. They want to shoot. They want everything. They're going to take your property. They're going to share your kids. And tell you what you can and can't do. And all that kind of stuff. And that might seem far fetched, but I don't see how it's far fetched if you really pay attention to things around you. You've got a party or whatever you want to call it. Groups of people. I guess they're called parades or whatever. Where you get people around kids and they're in their underwear. Like fat, creepy old geezers in their underwear dancing around in front of kids while parents and kids are screaming and cheering for them. And just disturbing stuff. Probably, probably likely in a place like California. Because California was turned into a dump. Sorry if you born there, you're from there, you've been there, whatever. I hope you would know that by now that they turn it into a dump. They let all the crime go by. They put their puppets, a lot of puppets come out of California from Kamal Harris to Anton Bay to Michael Guido to uh, Gavin Newsom. All those guys, and then those people are always the, um, the guinea pigs for everything. They, they're the ones where they take their freedoms away from each other. From them. they're basically the immoral place in the country, if not the world. I just I never saw what was so great about it. It's one of the places where the, where it's very hot, so it's a great place where people could farm and whatnot. Well, you can't use water there, or they poison the water, they drink, you know, there's stuff from the skies and all this stuff, it just, you can't, there's wildfires and all that kind of stuff over there, it's always that kind of deal, where they're steps ahead in the bigger sense, they don't deliver food there, or somebody, you know, there's so many things that come out of California, like, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, like, the, I believe the Manson, uh, family was from California, and then all you know that's where they put the uh, all the celebrity stuff there and the TV. And, you know, there's so much there. The McMartin family preschool about child abuse, and satanic ritual abuse, and all of that kind of stuff came out through California. And I mean, honestly, it's just a dump, and I have no other way of saying it. And I only have about a minute left, so I'm going to try to wrap this up here. Uh, before I go over, but I'm just going to say, hopefully you got something out of that and give you an idea of, between the canceling out and whatnot, how it's all done on purpose and they want people to do it. So stop thinking so much with your emotions and actually consider what they're doing to manipulate people's mindsets. And instead of arguing with people about, oh, you're bad for this reason because you like this person or you believe this, you can explain it to them differently. It's just people.